Hi, I'm Tony Footy, the Minister for Citizenship and Multicultural Interests in Western Australia. We've got another part of our great uh, multicultural cooking series and today we've got a special it's about Indian food. We're at the Ishwa headquarters, the Indian Society of Western Australia in Williton, and I have with me my good friends and parliamentary colleagues. Uh, to my left I have Yaz Mubarakai, the member for Jandicott, and also my parliamentary secretary. And also to, to my right I have Dr Jayas Krishna, the member for Riverton. And I have further here, we have uh, Sadish Naeem, and Sadish is the president of Ishwas. All right, let's get moving, let's get cooking. Okay, we're now moving to the eastern part of India, to the Bagali dish region. Uh, so what are we gonna be cooking? Uh, it's alu posto, alu is potatoes, and posto is poppy seeds. So it's a poppy seed paste with potatoes. And do you have it as a main meal or as a side to a main it, meal? It's an accompanying dish, so it's a vegetarian dish. Um, so you have it with either rice or living bread. Um, and it's a typical Bengali dish, which is festive, could be had in festive occasions. But it's a meal which can be had every daily food as well. Right. So, so you can have it every day, but also it can be part of a festival. So is it, is it, a, is it a very significant dish in very, part of the culture? Very, very, absolutely. And why? Why is it an important dish? Why is it part of, so important to the culture? Uh, it, it comes from, uh, because of the vegetarian nature of the dish, yes. and there is no onion, no garlic, and it's a part of any auspicious celebration. That's the reason this is one of those dishes which is included either a festive, auspicious, or as a regular and Thursday meal. I think most of your Hindu festivals have vegetarian yes, food, isn't yes, it? Yes, Bengali so. meals, most of them are. Vegetarian. Okay, so what are the ingredients that we use in this dish? Okay, the ingredients are very simple, just it's the poppy seed, which yep. is the posto, yep. potatoes, this is onion seeds, it's called kalonji, green chilli for tempering, salt for tempering, and mustard oil. That's the speciality mustard from Bengal, oil. mustard oil. It's okay. cooked in mustard oil right. and it's a very healthy dish, not too much of oil. Uh, potato is the staple food and the posto keeps it cooling. Of course, not too much of it. It has its pros okay. and cons. <laughs> okay, so look, there's, they're the ingredients. So this here, that's after you do all the preparation. Yes. So you want to explain, what, well, how do we do this now? Absolutely. Uh, so it we starts peel, with yeah. peeling the potatoes. Yeah chopping and that's what it is, looks like. Then we heat the oil yeah. and temper it with onion seeds. Semi-cook. Once it's at this stage of cooking, you can add the poppy seed paste, which is the posto butter. Add it to it. Add water to your thickness as you want preparation. Uh, some like it dry, some like it semi, as you can see. Once it's half cooked, cover the lid, add some green chilies and salt to taste. In about five minutes or so, it should be almost cooked. That's how it will look once it's cooked. Like that? That's it. Yeah, beautiful. Also, Bitika, do you want to talk about your drawing? Like what yes, the decoration absolutely. you did? Okay. Absolutely. That's the significance, what I mean. Yeah. For a Bengali from coming from Eastern India, this decoration, what you see, it's done either on the floor or even on the kitchen shelf, it's supposed to bring, according to Bengalis, fish and rice flour. It's of culture and it's got it's got a auspicious feel. So no kitchen is complete without the rice flour. Right. That's a rice flour paste. With hand, yeah. you do a decoration. And that's where the presentation comes with this whole thing. So if you don't have that, it's well considered not to be authentic. Uh, if it's a if it's a religious yeah. and auspicious ceremony that will be done. Okay. So just say your mother-in-law won't allow you without that, right? <laughs> <laughs> really? It is part of the celebration, <laughs> definitely. It's, it's a package. All right, you so do the decoration. I, I, I think in olden days when they used to get married, the daughter-in-law has to get into or come into the house carrying a fish, a big fish, a right. hold, fish. holding a fish. So it shows how important food is to the, to the culture. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You, the daughter-in-law comes into the house holding a fish in the hand, yeah. a raw fish, yeah. live fish, <laughs> and they step into the house by tipping a pail of rice. Wow. So it's like the goddess comes into the house. The mother-in-law right. welcomes. It's her Lakshmi, the goddess of Lakshmi. The wealth and the goddess comes home. Right. That's how it is. Yes. Absolutely. So 
This is the final product. So final how do you product. actually eat it? You have it with steamed rice. Okay. Steamed rice. Um, this is luchi, okay. which is uh, small living bread. Yeah. It's normally done with um, plain maida. Uh, it's called the plain flour. Yeah. Rashmi, so, would you like to say something yeah. about it? Thanks, Pitika. So uh, this is called as puri right. and uh, or luchi. And uh, same as the parathas, we use the refined flour for this. So you put oil, water, and a little bit of salt. And you just make a dough like this. Similar to the gobi paratha that you saw, yeah. you make the balls, and then you roll it, uh, roll it with the rolling pin yeah. into, uh, similar to paratha once again. Uh, the difference is that uh, these are pretty small. Mm. And uh, like this, you make your puri yeah. a little thinner. And so that's it. Yeah. And then you deep fry it. Oh, deep fry it. So okay. that's all. And you just have to ensure that, you know, it puffs up. Right. So can I be cheeky? Can I taste one? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you may want to have it with this. Mm. It definitely is deep fried, isn't it? It is. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Right. So what are we really putting on it? Cheese. What's this? What yeah. are we putting on it here, Sadish? What is uh, this? That is tomato chutney. This is slightly sweet, isn't it? It is right. very quite okay, sweet. Okay, you want to hold that? Because I've got a very important <laughs> task to eat. <laughs> Can I tell you? You passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's our lovely alu pasta dish. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Pasta. Pasta. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. The Indian community is one of the most culturally diverse communities in Western Australia. They are such a vibrant, loving, caring community who absolutely make delicious food. I'm really looking forward to sharing this with all of you. Food together is a way that we can share our stories with family and friends. Thank you very much. And can I ask people, if you want to know more about uh, this cooking series, go to the OMI website. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.